Well, think about this as you're driving in this morning. Offices, your office, is a breeding ground for germs, bacteria, stuff. Why do you think everybody has colds and bugs all the time? Well, we are literally passing the same germs around, and our unsavory habits don't help matters. Great. Joining us on the Kogo News Live Line, infectious disease analyst and the founder of Wello, the first hands-free self-service temperature screening device, Rick Heller. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. You have to be pretty popular right now because everybody's freaking out over coronavirus. Apparently, there's been a run on hand sanitizer down at the local CVS. So why is it that everybody just keeps getting sick? Well, you you said it. It gets around. And we see it in all sorts of different places for all sorts of different reasons. But uh, the biggest reason is, is that people who are sick come to work and uh, in the workplace that Sometimes seems like a great idea, tough it out, you know, good work ethic, but it's not. And so with an incubation period of about two to three days for the flu, you know, people don't connect the dots so easily that, you know, I got that person sick, and some people do, but, uh, and that's the problem. So if you're sick in particular, and I'm not talking about coughing and sneezing, I'm talking about any kind of elevated body temperature, and it doesn't even have to hit the numbers that the CDC says. You need to work out with your employer, and the employer ought to be understanding for you to be able to work from home or to to understand and let you uh, not come into the office and spread your stuff. So by spreading your stuff, um, how most commonly do we spread our stuff? Well, um, there's some argument, and I think I'm, I'm fighting the big establishment here. It's about the same if uh, coughing and sneezing is really to us what appears to be uh, somebody with symptoms, and that symptom would be a fever. So what we have is, uh, <clears throat> and so what we believe and what we've shown in a lot of our evidence is that this is spread by breath. Simply an exhale when you have a fever is going to shed a lot of virus. And we exhale a lot, a lot more than a big old sneeze. And sneeze contains big particles, breath contains small particles. So either way, uh, coming in with any kind of elevated body temperature, uh, assuming that you know you have respiratory problems, you're going to be spreading, and you're going to be—it's—we're talking about exponential uh, amount of spread. And then the question is: Is are well people uh, in good shape? Are they susceptible? And that susceptibility manifests itself from or lack of susceptibility from lack of sleep from all sorts of lifestyle issues, you know, stay healthy and your immune system will reward you with not getting sick. Well, it's, I mean, it seems like great advice, um, but in practicality, most people are overworked. They don't sleep enough. They have the kids and the job and the, and everything. And they're just not, and they're just kind of stretched too thin. So we have to unstretch essentially. Absolutely. I mean, you know, this is uh, particularly with coronavirus looming. I mean, we, 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 this is not an epidemic as such, certainly not in this country. But, you know, we're hearing about these cases in, Cal in Northern California that are, you know, community spread because nobody seems to have a contact trace on where they got it. So, you know, we're worried. And so, and so worrying, we need to be careful. I mean, you know, asthmatics, people with comorbidities, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, these people are susceptible to loss of life. So we need to respect that and, and get a little bit more, uh, much better hygiene than we have in the past. And that's kind of the good thing about coronavirus. All right. Infectious disease analyst, founder of Wello, Rick Heller. Thank you for joining us this morning, Rick. My pleasure. Be well. All right. You too. All right. Thank you.